morning. This is a scrapper's dash. Today I'm going to be working on a scrapbook. Um, I do have some other paper. These are just the colors. So this is going to be for the last page here. Um, I'm starting a new scrapbook. This is going to be a year in review for my daughter. Uh, she's going to have a theme of shortbread, mulberry, and toffee. And the toffee is going to be mostly in the love story pack. So if you haven't seen the love story pack yet, there's three of them. There's a black, a toffee, and a mink. And I chose the toffee for, for my daughter. But they've, they're really pretty papers. So let's, I'm going to just show you briefly all the papers so that you know what we're going to choose from. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, this is love story. This is supposed to be wedding. Well, can be, but I mean, like how generic these papers are. They they really go with just about everything. So these are what we're going to choose from, from the, for the first page. Then we're going to work on the last page. I'm going to go ahead and cut things for the first page. And I want the love story to be the, the background of the first page. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it these ones and then we'll see which one it looks best on because it, right now I, I don't have a decision made so we're gonna go ahead and cut these um, I'm gonna cut one as the frame for a photo which is a four by six photo I'm only gonna put one photo on here on this page the other one is gonna be like my ten favorite things so that we kind of recap what her favorite things are each year and then we can see how she has grown and how she's changed. So I think for the photo, I'm going to do this one and I'm going to do a half or a quarter inch around the entire photo. So I'm going to go ahead and do four and a half. This is going to be a four by six photo. I know it's the only photo on there, but um, four by six is just easiest to deal with. And then six and a half, and my bar is actually down here at the bottom. So I'm going to just subtract. So six and a half, really it's five and a half, would be six and a half. Okay, so there's six and a half. So there's my photo mat. And of course, I don't have a photo yet because this is a year in review. And we're going to be accruing these photos throughout the year. But I just want to make sure that the scrapbook foundation is made. Much easier to put photos in at the end. Okay. Then this one is going to be a nine and a quarter. So nine and a quarter, which would be two and three quarters. I actually don't want to do it that way. Just a minute. Yeah, actually I want this as six by nine. We're just gonna do a six by nine on this one, so we're just gonna do six here. And we'll do a nine. And if you haven't done so, I found this to be true. I replace my blades twice a year. Once at the beginning of the year and once at the end. Or once at the middle. So if you haven't replaced a blade in a while, you may want to. Does give you a nice smoother cuts. So here's my two pages. I also need a white daisy and that is going to be for my favorite things or her favorite things. Now my son's is going to be identical to this except for the colors. So this is going to be, I just want it half inch less than what I did. So there's a Five and a half because I did a six by nine, I'm pretty sure. Just make sure that was a six, yep. 
six by nine, so half inch less would be three and a half. I'll get it down to eight and a half. This way the colors really shine. And I don't know what embellishments I'm going to use yet on this. Um, not quite yet. So there's the photo. And here's the 10 favorite things. So this is actually going to go together pretty quickly, I think, this whole album. So one week it'll be hers, one week it'll be his, and until I get them done. And then the following weeks will be for... Uh, so, or for Saturdays would be our family scrapbook and um, I'm doing mini windsheet wonder scrapbooks so I just want to see how this is going to be and this is going to be more or less like that but I think I want I think I know which one I want and I think it's this one Now the back side of this is the really busy kaleidoscope looking one. I don't know, it reminds me of a kaleidoscope. It's pretty. So I think I might do that one, but not the kaleidoscope. I'm thinking about doing the flower. That's how that's going to be. And this is going to be my 10 favorite things. I'm going to put her name up here and 2022 down here. Her favorite. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to title the album favorite things, but this is going to be the first page. So it'll have her name and then the year. So let's go ahead and I like this one. I think that's very pretty. So let's get the zip strip off of that. It's very curly. And I chose black for my son just because it's got a more masculine touch to it. And if you're wondering how I came up with color schemes, um, so my son is black, capri, and paprika. My daughter is the toffee, shortbread, and mulberry. What I did was I did opposites on the color wheel, which are complementary to each other. So I did, for hers, I did her favorite color is yellow. So I did a very soft yellow, which is the shortbread. And the opposite of that on the color wheel is purple. And I chose the soft purple, which is mulberry. So, very simple. But... I do want the bolder colors of these, these two. So, in order to do so, I'm just gonna pull in a scrap. Okay, that's the dark side. I just want to make sure. Sometimes it's hard to see in camera. Okay, I'm going to get my runner. And eventually, you know, my kids are really young right now. They're five and three, but eventually these will be annual presents, I assume. So I'm just going to put this like an inch and an inch. An inch down, inch in. And that might have been too much. Yeah, it's a little too much. Let's do half and half. Uh, let's do actually one inch down and half in. If you don't have a Versa mat for scrapbooking, I highly suggest one. Well, I do the light side anyway. 
Oh well. I do half inch in on this side as well. Now for her name. I'm going to just move this aside. I'm going to use one of those scrap daisies. And I think I'm probably a bold marker or something like that. Just get all my alphabets out. I think these ones are really fun, but not very elegant. And this is going to be more of an elegant. I love the Cassidy because it's teeny tiny. Erin's is an older one. There's my bold marker. I love that one. Or maybe we'll do stitch. Let's do stitch. Stitch out, but that is quite fun. So is the Arizona. Looks like a little cactus. They're cute. And these ones are really bold, but I think that's too big for this page. So, um, so we'll do that one, and then we'll do bold marker for the 2022 because it does have this one has the digits. Stitch does not that I readily see. Stitch comes with two sets: a stitch side and a bold side. So I'm going to take them both off. 